All right, hey guys, what's going on? Side Home Theater Dude, got a brand new episode for you today. If you guys were paying attention to a video I did a couple weeks back, I had a whole bunch of Marantz boxes stacked on top of my AV rack. Uh, now's the time to go ahead and get this one unboxed. This is the Marantz AV8805. This is their flagship preamp processor. Uh, you can't get any higher than this at the current moment from Marantz. This is gonna be their full 13.2. And if you want to, you can actually configure this thing up to, I think, it was 15.1. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the details on that a little later, but uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in the unboxing and we'll talk about the overview right at the intro. So let's get this thing unboxed. So this looks very familiar from what I just unboxed the other day. Odyssey calibration microphone, pretty beefy power cord. You have a quick start guide. It's like we have a bunch of antenna in here, AM, FM, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and then you also have some really cool speaker labels as well. So especially whenever you guys are going above, you know, uh, I'd probably say if you guys are going above a, a 7.1, uh, surround sound, I think it'd be very beneficial to actually have uh, some some speaker labels. Uh, <laughs> you never know if you're ever going to have to take something apart, but it's really, really good peace of mind to actually know that everything, every single thing is right in its place. All you do is just unplug it and replug it back in. There's nothing more tiresome. <laughs> I've, I've had to deal with it recently. There's nothing more tiresome than I have to actually take some st something out and then figure out where it goes and then plug it in. It takes forever. You have your Odyssey calibration mic stand. I'm gonna show you this remote. This is the Marantz remote as well. A couple of batteries. So this is actually really cool. If you look at it, if you can see up top, there's actually a readout on there. So that's a little different than you would typically see with uh, with other type of remotes that I've seen, you know, especially recently. So let's check that out. It's got a cool little design on it. I think it looks really stylish. And I mean, you wouldn't expect anything less, especially for their flagship product. So this thing is actually very light. It's only 30, I think, 0.2 pounds. So it's not like it's uh, light by any means, but typically compared to a normal AVR, it's, I think this is a little lighter. And if you're just looking at pure aesthetics, this is a thicker, more protective, it feels like it's a thicker, more protective type of uh, film that goes on it than you would regularly. So check that thing out. Dang, <laughs> that is cool. I like these uh, these copper accents on there. I'm not sure if you can see any of them up front, but this this whole thing is just riddled with, with copper. It's kind of ostentatious, but it also serves a purpose. It basically reminds you that this is their flagship product, so they really want to dress it up. Also in the bottom, you're going to have a triple copper type of uh, um, isolation as well. So it really helps out on the bottom. So let's go ahead and show you the back of this thing. So already comparing this to the other one that I just unboxed, the 5014 and the 6014. This one, you can definitely tell that this is on a different tier. The, the styling behind it just looks so much better. So down here, looks like we have a couple different buttons for you. You have your pure direct mode, which is just normal. You also have your MDAX, which basically helps out with your uh, MP MP3 files. It basically helps them recreate a better sound and then fill, fill in those highs that typically get rolled off on MP3s. You have your dynamic EQ. You can actually cycle through that and turn it on and off. You have your dynamic volume. This is basically controlled by your, your Odyssey EQ. Down here, you have your different settings. So if you want to have it on movie mode or music mode, game mode, it basically cycles through all the different codecs to actually help you out on that function. You have your info actually read out right here. So if you don't want to use this, you know, sleek little porthole that Brantz is known for, you can also use that info down there. You have your sleep abilities, HDMI outs, which basically will help you because this one has three HDMI outs. Dimmer, that will dim this, dim that one, show you your status. You'll be able to choose zones as well. Like I was just talking about, it has three outs. So you have your ability to do that as well. This is a phono output. So if you want to have your headphones, your Odyssey mic input, you have an HDMI in, VGAs. Feels really smooth in the hand, actually feels a little more refined on the touch than the previous models. So I will say that there is a, a step on this one. This is the selector. 
This one's just your volume. Very simple, very elegant. You can definitely tell that this thing is a little more refined just by the way it's con constructed. So here's something you typically won't see. This is what I was talking about earlier, that triple copper on the base. Small things like this that separates it from the rest of the group. That gives it that flagship status. All right guys, so you know my videos by now, so you know I have to show the booty on this thing. Uh, this is actually where all the, the, the good stuff is on, on this one. And if, if you're a, kind of an AV novice, or you know, if you're, if you're a DIYer, you're doing this stuff yourself, this may look like a nightmare, right? Let's go ahead and pan it around to show you all of it. This, it's just a sea of connections and whatnot. Just a real quick, just a pro tip, all these little parts that are hashed out right here, that's gonna be an output. So if you're looking for something that's an out, like a, that you need to you know, take from this, that's gonna be your key to do that. So you see this little hash mark up here, they're all, all kinds of different colors and things like that. And then you have your hash marks down here, pretty much anything that's not in those hashes, then you know that it's gonna be an input, like you have your HDMI inputs, uh, your analog inputs as well, different stuff like that. So just a little pro tip to help you out. So what makes this thing famous? It's gonna have 32-bit DACs for all 15 channels. And the cool thing is, is with these two subwoofer outs over here, you're gonna have these fully independent. Like I was talking about the Marantz 5014, that one has two subwoofer outs, but you can't control them independently. It's basically just one, you know, split into two. So it's just the same signal. So it's kind of like you're daisy chaining it. This one is fully independent, so if you actually want to tune your subwoofer, you can do it that way as well. It's a lot, a lot more um, creative, and there, it, it was actually really smart for them to, to include that in this unit itself. Still over here, we're going to have our three HDMI outs, which is going to be good. You can have three different rooms doing three different things, still control it with one unit. And that also, that also plays in with the Apple AirPlay 2 and also the uh, Denon Heos that this thing offers. Basically, the Apple AirPlay 2 and the Denon Heos are almost exactly the same thing, uh, except for you can screen, screen mirror your actual uh, Apple device into this thing. And so you can you know watch your favorite YouTube video or you know whatever you'd like. Another thing that's actually really important with this one is you're gonna have your Odyssey Multi-EQ and it's gonna be a Platinum Suite. So with that Platinum Suite, you're gonna have uh, the XT32, which is gonna be you know standard for the 4400 and above, like on the Denon series and whatnot. You're also gonna have dynamic volume, dynamic EQ, sub EQ, which is actually really cool, and uh, low frequency containment. So if you guys have, <laughs> I don't know why if you would ever have an apartment or anything, but if you, have, if, if you have an apartment or you guys need some quiet listening type of experience, the low frequency containment will actually, uh, you know, tone down those uh, LFE effects so that you can watch the late night stuff, get, this, get, get, get the explosion still and not necessarily wake up the, uh, the baby or the, the wife or even the neighbors. All right, so real quick, let's just go over the run rundown of the back here. You're gonna have your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna. You're gonna have the same one on the other side. You're gonna have your FM, AM antenna ends, a power supply, which is gonna be a uh, USB. You also have your um, wired network in. You have seven HDCP 2.2 HDMIs, three of those HDMI outs like I was talking about earlier. And then over here, you're going to have your RCA ends. You're gonna have component ins, component outs, also a zone two. And over here we have the good stuff. We have the signal ground for our record player. You have balanced ins. If you wanna go ahead and tuck this into a cabinet and never see it again, you can actually hook up a blaster here, which is gonna be an infrared type of uh, signal. Basically what you do is just have uh, one of these little dongles that you can you know, show in you know, viewing distance of your remote. And then you know you can put this in a rack mount or in a closet and you never have to see it again. And then that lead terminates into here and then you can still use your remote to use this thing. Same thing here, you have your remotes ins and outs. You have digital ins via coax, also your toss link optical cable. You have your 12 volt trigger outs. So this one only has two. And then here you have your RS-232. So if you wanna control you know, home automation, different things like that via Savant, Control 4, or you know, Crestron, different things like that, that's the proprietary cable that you're gonna use with that. Two of these subwoofer outs, like I was talking about earlier, you control them independently of each other. So this one can be at a completely different level than this one. If you wanna have this one in the front of the room, you can. This one on the left of the room, I mean, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's fully assignable. You have a full 7.1 in your unbalanced outputs out. And then down here you have your balanced outputs. So like I was talking about before, if you guys didn't check out that video, I'm gonna leave it right up here. It's gonna be uh, an explanation of what a balanced signal is and an unbalanced signal is, how the cables you know, do different things. And the reason why you want this versus other things is that you will get some of the best sound coming from one of these type of connections because it's far superior by design. So that's, that's a lot of sauce down here. Can't wait to get this thing hooked up.
So just real quick, I haven't talked about a couple things. This one's also equipped with HDAM. You're also gonna have your MDAX2, which is gonna give you a better MP3 listening experience. This thing is fully capable of Dolby Vision and IMAX enhanced. This is HDCP 2.2. Now I heard on the grapevine that this one is gonna be being upgradable to the HDCP 2.3 in the coming, uh, in, in the near future. But I, don't quote me on that, that's just what I heard. So with this one, it's gonna give you that ability to have you know, more than your traditional 7.2.4 Atmos experience. And with that, you're the, the Dolby Atmos is gonna play its original Dolby Atmos format. DTSX is gonna do exactly the same thing. Now, you're, you have a couple different things that'll do post um, up mixing. So you, actually, you also have Dolby Surround, which will help you out with, if you have you know, a 5.1, it'll basically help out, you know, fill in the rest of those gaps with the rest of your speakers, no matter what the original source was. Your DTS Neural X is gonna be a up conversion, and it's basically the same thing, but in a DTS format. DTSX Virtual is gonna be the really good one. So the cool thing with that is, um, as far as I understand it, it's basically replacing Aura 3D. Because Aura 3D can take you know, uh, stereo music and turn it into your full Aura 3D setup. So if you have a 13.1, you know, you're gonna have your uh, Beatles playing on 13.1, or you know, if you guys have, uh, you know, 5.1, then it'll still up convert. It's post up conversion, which is gonna help you out. And that's, I think that's really cool with DTSX Virtual to do that because, you know, Oro 3D never caught a lot of steam uh, taking off here in the US, but I, I really like it. it seriously, I, I'll watch almost all my movies with, uh, or I'll watch all my TV shows with Oro 3D. Highly recommend it. So that was the unboxing and overview of the Marantz AV8805 preamp processor. This is their flagship model and it definitely t <laughs> it definitely shows. I'm really excited to go and get this thing hooked up and big shout out to the guys over at Dream Media Home Theater. They actually made this video possible by supplying the last three Marantz AV receivers that you guys saw on this channel. So if you guys haven't checked them out already, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down in the description. And as always, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that card right up here. But uh, really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Don't forget the little subscribe notifications bell that helps out get these videos as soon as they come out. If you guys haven't no noticed over the last uh, week or so, I've been putting out a video almost every single day. So stay, stay really close to that channel because I'm gonna be putting out a whole truckload of <laughs> content coming out very, very shortly. But I really appreciate all the love and support guys. We're over 4 million views and that's just ridiculous, especially being in this as, as short as I have. But I'm gonna go in this video here. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.